this is Jesse Stay, the social geek. So today, I've got some fun things here that, um, that I just got in the mail. Bought them on Amazon. I'll put the post down in the description, a link to be able to get them. Um, I have with me, some of you saw this on my social channels, this is Google Cardboard. I actually got a custom version that um, that you can buy online that so it doesn't look all cardboardy and it's actually uh, somewhat useful. So I've, I've got all this and I'm going to try and assemble it today and see how that turns out. So I actually got this, the cool cardboard that I'm going to have to assemble. Uh, it comes with all the supplies necessary. If you're familiar with Oculus Rift, um, Oculus Rift uh, uh, is is kind of the Cadillac uh, of, of these VR systems that's owned by Facebook. Well, Google, in order to kind of make fun of that at one of their uh, at their developer uh, Google I/O conference last year, they they gave all participants a big sheet of cardboard and uh, lenses and uh, some magnets and and with instructions on how to make their own basically VR system that you just attach to a Android device. And um, uh, and, and it appears Emily here is gonna gonna be helping me with this. Anyway. Um, so uh, we're going to put this together, we're going to see how it turns out. I've tried this before, I've tried Oculus Rift as well. I'll, I'll argue that uh, while I haven't tried it recently, um, uh, the experience is very similar between the two. One is, it, this cost me about 20, 30 bucks, uh, whereas Oculus Rift is several hundred dollars. So uh, um, it just shows that this is really a software game that uh, any hardware manufacturer can provide their own interface to your, your cell phone device and, uh, and you can have almost the same experience. Now just, uh, just, just to be fair, the Oculus Rift um, for the most part is, is, uh, has two separate lenses but from what I can tell it's, it, it provides the same type of screen experience going through those lenses as the Android and Google Cardboard experience does. Uh, from everything I've seen. Um, I'd love to learn more though and maybe if someone sends me an Oculus Rift we can do a review of that and kind of compare the two. But uh, anyway, this is, uh, th this, is, this is Google Cardboard um, or one rendition of it. Um, it'll connect to my Android phone that I'll show you in a minute. Um, and let's put this together and see how, see how it goes. Alright, so let's put this together. It's actually, this, this setup is actually pretty easy if you do it in your own cardboard uh, with, with uh, actual cardboard and such. Uh, there, there will be a little bit more uh, difficulty to it. Um, but, uh, but this is basically all there is. You've got the, the eyepiece that I uh, look in and you can't see me but I'm looking through it right now. Um, you've got uh, uh, all these other elements that we'll, I'll show you in a second. Um, what you do is uh, to start, you grab your eyepiece and let me put it over here. Grab your eyepiece, stick it in right here. Make sure you can see it here. Stick it in right here. And now I basically just wrap this around like that. And, and then on this little piece over here, I bend that over like that, and and actually what I want to do is there's a piece there's a little sticker here. Uh, this doesn't come on your typical cardboard, but you could add glue or whatever you want to to glue it together and get the sticker off. Pull that off, and now I can make sure that's nice and flush here. It just goes over like that, and attach it like that. Then I've got this piece right here. There's also a sticker on this side. Pull off the sticker on this. And attach it firmly. Okay, now we need to attach our magnet. So I've got one piece of the magnet here, and somewhere I've got my other piece. Where did that go? If I can find it. Didn't fall, did it? Um, huh. There it is, it's right on top. 
that's attached here. So um, on, on the magnet, what I want to do is I add this right here. And then on the back here, I don't know if you can see that on the back, I want to attach this ugly piece on the inside here. And uh, that holds the silver piece in firmly. And it actually works kind of cool because because of the magnetic force, it, atta it, it stays secure, but I can move it like that. And uh, I'll be honest, I don't even know what that. I think that's for helping to control it. Um, there's the NFC here. I think this actually connects in there, and I've got to figure that out. But uh, um, now if I... I do think there is a piece right here that goes in here. And uh, so in here, this will attach right here. That holds it more secure in place. Now if I take my phone, camera side over here, put that over here, or if I... This actually comes with suction cups, which is kind of cool. So now I just put that where I want it to be. Suction it in place. Place it in my cardboard. This is the Samsung Galaxy S3. Um, works with any Android phone. I think there is also software for the iPhone that you can get it to work with um, this if you want. And then. This has um, this has has um, Ziploc, not Ziploc. Um, what do you call it? Velcro. Has Velcro on the top, so I just uh, attach that, and that's basically it. Um, the the uh, I look through here, attach it. I can attach my. It ha actually has snaps to attach the the head strap here, so I can take this head strap attach it in place and now wrap it around my head and I've got something I've got basic virtual reality device right here that I made all by myself pretty cool huh it's uh this is basically it you've got um uh I, all it all it takes I mean in you can actually get the cardboard um uh, just take any any uh, corrugated cardboard and and uh, online, I'll include the the, the instructions, uh, the link to instructions in the down in the description, so you can make your own cardboard if you want. Um, on Google site, they have all sorts of instructions, including other versions you can buy. This I got off Amazon. You can get other versions off of Google site uh, that use the actual cardboard. Um, there will be other people that make other interfaces um, uh, for this. I actually tried, I, I, I got the Samsung uh, Galaxy VR, which is like a $200 device, um, and, and it worked with Google Cardboard. It was basically the same thing as this that I made with my own hands here. Um, uh, so so uh, that's, that's what it looks like and that's how it works. So you, you've got your phone inside, got the things, and then this right here is for controlling. I've got to figure out how to get that working. I think that's through NFC that it works. And, uh, and that's it. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you now kind of how the NFC works, and we'll get the phone working. Plus, I've got this cool uh, little Bluetooth controller for Android. You can get any Bluetooth controller for Android, and now you've got a controller that you can use uh, with the phone and uh, move around and stuff. Uh, we'll see if this is helpful in the experience. Experiment. Experience. I can't talk today. Okay. So in order to use this uh, on the phone. You're going to have to go to the Play Store and download the Google Cardboard app. Uh, I think there are a couple other compatible apps you can use as well. We're going to stick with Google Cardboard for this demo. Cardboard. And call it Cardboard. Just like that. Click Install. Accept. Let that load. Okay, I'm gonna open it.
Now you can get cardboard apps for it. Let's let's check out some of the apps here. Always. Okay. So you got several apps. You've got the cardboard. Um, Kaiju Fury Sundance Selection. I'm guessing those are from the Sundance demos. Um, a Paul McCartney Experience, Proton Pulse. All these are free. Mercedes VR for cardboard. That's kind of cool. Roller Coaster VR, Lamper, Jack White 3rd D, Cardboard. So they've got a whole app ecosystem going on for this. Uh, I mean, that's what's so cool about this is is Google's taking this and turning it into a software game, not a hardware game, which which is typical Google, but it's uh, it, it shows that it's not all about these expensive devices. You can make your own and just build software for it. And uh, I'm sure there will be nicer devices that, that come out for cardboard that uh, provide a nicer vision, nicer view, but uh, this really is a software game. Okay, so let's go to the demos here. And uh, we can do, see, as you can see, if I turn it, it goes into, it has two visions here. And let's just do Windy Day here. So, and I can actually use the, this actually selects it here. Whoops. Let's see if I can do it this way. You can see as I turn it, it moves. That's what it... And ideally... Ideally you select this, it should select it, but um, it may have to be in place for that to work. But anyway, you take that and uh, then put that in place. Make sure you're all hooked in. Hook it up. And you can kind of see what it looks like there. Now I think I've got to get the NFC working to for the magnet to work because um, it has to pair with the phone in some way. I'm not sure the magnet, the phone somehow detects the magnet. I'm not 100% sure how that works, but uh, that's that's what's supposed to happen. But anyway, that's it. So anyway, this is uh, Google Cardboard. You can make your own. I'll put the links down in the description. Please be sure to subscribe and like, and if you, if this uh, worked out well for you, and let me know in the comments uh, what else you'd like me to review. Anyway, this is Jesse Stay, the Social Geek.